Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be telling you the 10 top. Today, I'm going. Today, I'm going to tell you the 10 vegan restaurants you must try in Tokyo. And I just realised that tomorrow will be exactly one year since I've moved to Japan this time around, and in that one year, I have eat, basically eaten my way around every vegan restaurant I can get my hands on. I can get my hands on or go eat at and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity now to share my top 10 favorite because I've got a list of about 20 that I've been to. I didn't even think there'd be that much. I was like maybe I could scrape five and I'm so excited because vegan food is becoming such a big thing even though it's just eating vegetables. Just, I don't really get why it's called vegan food. It'd just be called food but without animal products anyway like went to dinner last night with some of my Japanese friends and I told them I was vegan and they were so confused and asked me what I ate and I said oh I just eat like vegetables and you know rice and I don't know I feel like when people ask me what I eat when I'm vegan I just go blank and every food in existence just disappears out of my brain and then I look really dumb but <laughs> trust me I do eat a lot of food and when you go to these places, you will see how amazing food can be and how easy it is to eat vegan. Okay, alright, so let's get started. So, number one is called Tea's Tantan Ramen and it's at Tokyo Station. So, it's very easy to get to and very convenient when you're changing trains, changing lines, and especially for me on the way home. It's great to stop by and have some ramen. So the number one dish you'll see on the menu is the peanut butter ramen, and it is... I love noodles so much. I'm the same as Oh my god. Well, we were I was a bit um, dead. I was deceased, but I'm back. So this is actually, no. Mm -hmm. No, like for real. They also have gyoza, which gyoza you should definitely try, and also the soy meat cutlets that they have. And if you want as a souvenir, if you love it that much, they also have a range of ramen and soy meat and curry as well that you can take home and cook yourself. Fun, that's a good one to start. These aren't in any order by the way, I'm just going through, starting probably with the most popular and working my way down to the, not the least popular, but the ones that aren't really heard of as much as the others. Okay, the second one is sort of three combined, but the company or the restaurant name, original restaurant name is called Ain Sof, and there's three restaurants that branch out from them. So Ain Sof Ginza is in Ginza, and I've been there twice, and it's really fancy actually. It's more of a classier restaurant. I had, I went there last week and I had the tortilla rolls. So good, so good. The quality of the food is, and same as Ainso Journey, which is in Shinjuku. Both of those restaurants have very similar atmosphere. It's just really peaceful. Actually, all the vegan places that I think of now are just, they always have like this nice, like, calm and relaxing sort of feel to them. The one at um, Ginza and Shinjuku, they have piano music playing and you're just sitting there eating this like delicious and healthy food that you know is like so good and I'm like, yes, my body is a temple. <laughs> the number one item on the menu, personally, is the pancakes. They are the fluffiest things I have ever put in my mouth. The third one of the chain is Ainso Ripple, which is known for their burgers. So they take a more fast food, junk food sort of spin on <laughs> on things. They have, oh, I think it's about four or five different burgers. And I've taken people there who don't even eat vegan and they loved it. They also do mac and cheese. They do French toast, which you should get because that is... They do salads, they do, there's something for everyone at Ainsworth so Ripple. So it's a really good location as well. Um, it's a quite, kind of a small place, but there's people are normally coming in and out, so you'll be good to find a seat. Ainsworth, so that was sort of number two. The third one, and Mr. Farmer is not a purely vegan restaurant, but they have great 
vegan options. It's probably like the biggest menu out of all of the places that I've been to, just because there's so much variety. I've tried, I've tried all the burgers there. <laughs> oh, I've tried, I've had a lot of food. I've had the curry, I've tried the curry. That is really good. Um, oh my goodness, the dessert, the chocolate cake, I think it's called. You gotta go get that chocolate cake. Number four is a bit of a classy one as well. Um, Restaurant 8 Stablish. I've been there twice, um, both for birthday occasions. This is a great one for a birthday. I went there with a friend for my birthday and uh, they do this little um, cheesecake set with a candle and ice cream and it's so cool because it's really hard to find just vegan cake in general here in Japan. So the fact that they have a whole birthday dessert is so cool. Uh, but the food in general is, I feel like the portions aren't as big there. The quality is top notch again. I got the Greek Slovaki, I'm gonna say. And yeah, I'm just, I've got up some great footage of this one. So I'm just gonna insert that here. Yeah, and that restaurant is which is good. Number five is falafel burgers. So this one is very popular with my friends as well that live here. Holy moly, so good, wow. <laughs> my favorite thing, apart from the falafels, they've got this little carob bar. I don't know how they make it. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. It's like this big, but it's so worth it. I think it's like 500 yen or something. It's only a tiny spot, so there's not much places to sit, but it, yeah, it's a good one. So tying into that number six, literally about maybe like 200 meters down the road. It is a, basically a salad bar, all you can eat for two hours. I went there a couple of months ago to like just sit there and edit videos and yeah, really good. And it's just such a cool atmosphere, cool bar. They also do yoga in the mornings on certain days. So that's something I would like to do one day. Number seven is also a buffet style. It's called Vegan Cafe and it's, very new. I think it's only maybe like three or four months old. I think from the late what the lady told me. But yeah, you go in. It's one thousand five hundred. Oh, I don't want to say prices because I always get my numbers mixed up. It's Japanese style food. So if you're wanting to experience the Japanese culture, Japanese food, as well as eating vegan, this is perfect for you because they have all of that there and it's it's really nice it's really calm all of these places that i found have just been like oh, the lady that works there is so lovely it's pretty quiet too because it's so new and i don't think many people know about this one i actually found out through my friend hannah but i think more people should go there because it is great and it's in hero 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 too which is um it's a pretty popular um, district for Gaijin to go, so um, foreigners <laughs> basically. And around that area in Hiro, there's also another little place tucked away called Turtle uh, Tear. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool little places everywhere. Oh, and also, I could just keep talking, there's just so much. There's also a place in Hiro that does the best chocolate banana smoothie. I'm just rambling right now, but yeah, vegan cafe, that is a great one. Number eight, I actually went there last night, it's called Koso Cafe, it's in Ebisu, right near Ebisu Station, basically, it's a four minute walk, so close. It is a great menu, it's got pastas, curries, it's got a pizza, the dessert menu is so good. They've got amazing salad, portions are great, like for the money's worth portions are really big. I had this massive salad the first time I went. So I ordered a salad <laughs> and look how big it is. It's like the size of my head if not bigger. And then last night I had the Japanese style salad and my friends they got the pizza which was so good. So good. Also like doing vegan pizza also like can sometimes be a hit or miss because people who love cheese you know also like they think that they're just eating cardboard but I promise you you will not be disappointed with their pizza there then for dessert I got the pancakes oh my goodness oh they're like called the brown detox pancakes 
and they put this cream on top, like soy whipped cream, and it's just so fluffy. And ah, when I go to these places, I'm like, how can I cook like this? Um, banan. This one's called Milan Mataraj. Mataraj. I hope I'm saying that right. It's in Ginza, and my friend Anna took us there to the buffet bit, which is oh my gosh, about fifteen dollars. All you can eat for ninety minutes, and they have about three or yeah, about three curries there. They've got endless amounts of naan bread. So basically, you can just eat your body weight in naan bread in 90 minutes. What else would you want in life for $15? Plus curries, plus you have salad, and then plus they have a vegan dessert as well, plus endless tea and coffee. Like, what? The number 10. Number 10 is is called Organic Table by La Paz. It's in Omarisando. This place uh, is where I had my favorite burger. They have three different types. They do amazing fries, they do these amazing, oh that's right, they do these amazing soy nuggets. It's just really cool and you can either sit up at the bar or you can sit on these couches or the left side of the restaurant is all just glass so you can look out into the street and yeah, it's just in a, such a nice area. Onomata Sando is probably one of my favorite areas in Tokyo. So yeah, that was the 10 most try vegan restaurants in Tokyo that I highly recommend. Um, it's just so great because obviously there are ways now around eating vegan when a restaurant isn't specialized in vegan food. Yeah, this is just really great for when you're visiting or living here and all you want to do is just look at the menu and be able to pick anything that you'd like <laughs> without having to question if it's got egg or dairy or whatever inside it and also most people at these restaurants speak English because a lot of foreigners come to these restaurants as well so yeah I hope it helps let me know down below what oh I haven't done this before but yeah, let me down below. Let me know down below if you've been to any of these places before, or if there's any other recommendations. I'm starting to not have many other places to tick off because I've been to a lot. So yeah, please let me know if you have any recommendations. Please let me know if you like this video. Please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. Please let me know if you like dogs. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya!